everybody happy Friday and big thanks for hanging on and waiting for us this morning because as I said we were delaying this morning and we weren't going to get started till 11 30 and we're only a couple of minutes after aren't we Deirdre yep so normally our 11 o'clock live on a Friday normally starts at 11 o'clock but as I said yesterday evening Deirdre got a great phone call from our local GP um, to say that they'd had a cancellation and they had an extra vaccine and because she was on the vulnerable list down she was like a hot snot this morning to the doctor to get her vaccine at 11 o'clock so she had to hang on then well we thought it was going to be 15 minutes you know you normally have to hang on for a couple of minutes but because she's allergic to what you're allergic tramadol. to tramadol she had to hang on for half an hour so she literally had to boot back up the road again she drove it's literally only five minutes away so we're all back and we're all ready and so far she's only grown three horns is it <laughs> three horns out of her head leg is hanging off one ear is gone a little bit bigger than the other and the other arm is hanging on by a thread but other than that she has absolutely no side effects <laughs> of the vaccine so we highly recommend everybody who's looking to grow three horns go out and get the vaccine <laughs> i'm only joking obviously so anybody that's watching let us know who's watching who's tuned in where are you watching from post here in the comments listen we'd love to hear from you the other thing is we want you to share so we have a few things lined up for this morning well only one arrangement but a few things to tell you and we have a good few giveaways so who's watching deirdre yeah we've lots of people watching on facebook and anyway. actually on instagram is very busy too and um, susanna's on and it's cold in cork and she's delighted for me i'm hoping me boob will grow back <laughs> Grew back, then you'd have two boobs, you'd be normal down here. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, yeah, if you can't beat them, you have to join them, isn't that what it is? Yeah, did uh, Deirdre's on from Galway, gorgeous morning. Let's get a new poly tunnel, lovely. Post up some photographs, love to see it. Absolutely. And what are you planning on growing? And are you planning to grow for yourself? Or are you going to expand and maybe um, supply flower shops or people selling flowers? Let us know what story is. We love a bit of scandal here at Case Flower School. Fabulous morning in Dublin. Sky is blue. We'll take a photograph out the window later on. That seems to be going down the tree. I think it's all love the photograph out the window of the Rialto roundabout and the new hospital over in St. James's. It's absolutely huge it is you probably see all the cranes like we're just so used to it now looking out the window and i don't know what we on seven or eight cranes up there at the moment yeah, so. against the sky it's it, it's looking really really well you know what i mean hopefully anyway we never have to use it but it is looking well as a hospital so what i have here in front of me here is agrawal lots of people are always asking us about eco-friendly ideas and you know what i mean um, what can they use instead of floral foam now, i'm not going to be using this today okay i'm just going to show today we did get a delivery of it and um, just haven't had a chance really to unpack it so what agrawal looks like it nearly looks like blocks of foam so this is what it looks like and obviously you soak it in water and you use it for making flower arrangements so we have a flower delivery coming in on Saturday night, tomorrow night. We've ordered it this morning. And we're planning on doing lots of designs using the agro wool. So that's our plan for next week. And obviously we will go live and we will be using it live as well. We're also we're doing some pre-recorded tutorials for our online students. So that's what it looks like. And um, it's basically like I'll be doing a review. I can't answer any questions at the moment because I haven't used it yet. We've so read lots of it. opinions, but we want to make our yeah, own. Yeah, there's been negative and there's been positives and so on. So you know me, I like to make up my own mind on things. And I'll be very honest and I'll be very straight with you. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to try it out. I want to see how long the flowers last. I want to see how difficult and how easy it is to use. I have a good selection of flowers coming in. Soft stemmed flowers and also exotic flowers and strong stemmed flowers and tall ones and I'm planning on doing some kind of like modern and traditional designs and then what I'll do is I'll give you my feedback and I'll give you a 0 to 10 um, recording on it and I'll be able to give you all the information on where you can buy the agro wool yourself so that's our plan for next week Kate is watching it from Donegal and the sun is trying to shine up there and it's a beautiful morning in Donny Bate Flowers by Shoshira is chilly in Kulak 
Yeah. Uh, Rebecca. It is a little bit chilly, but the sun is shining. And you know the way, if you're on the sunny side of the footpath, it's absolutely gorgeous. If you're on the shaded side, it definitely has that little bit of a nip in the air. The girl in Donegal, what part of Donegal are you in? Uh, what, where is Nadine Reid? Where what part of Donegal is she in? I think in? she's Letterkenny, is she? I think she's Upper L Letterkenny. Do you follow Nadine Reid on um, Instagram, Facebook? She would have been the black girl that was on live at three. But she has moved up to Donegal and um, she seems to be having a ball up there. I think the poor sheep and the cows and all she's that. She's trying to feed the cows, she's, yeah. She's, she was out feeding cows, carrots there the other day. Now, even I know that cows don't eat carrots. <laughs> are, they, okay. are they meat-itarians? <laughs> meat-itarians, absolutely. Okay, so just a couple what, of Jeanette says. Um, hi, ladies. Lovely, beautiful here in Hayward in North Wales. But it's a bit cold. Claudia says she's looking forward to the agri wool. Always wanted to find more eco ways. And um, They're loving your top. Where did you get it from? <laughs> Sheila Morpheus. It's a shade of coral. Now, it's not orange. It's coral, okay? And the Spanish top. I said to dear that she should have worn this for the vaccine this morning. So walk-in wardrobe. Can't remember the price. £25, I think, thereabouts. So walk-in wardrobe. You probably know I buy a lot of tops um, in walk-in wardrobe. The girl's name is Laura. She's on Instagram and she models all the stuff. She's half the size of me. But you know the way you kind of you kind of come across somebody and you just kind of think that I'm that suit. Tour, I always seem to think it suits me, but I think it in my head anyway. So um, that's what it is. I just seen it online and I said, Oh, geez, that's gorgeous. It'll be lovely for the summer. I can imagine now ironing it. It's going to be a course to iron. <laughs> yeah. Put through the dryer, it'll be Put grand. The dryer. Um, Muriel is on from uh, France and she says, Bonjour. Bonjour, Muriel. Um, and Lisa is watching in from Newcastle and her eight year old daughter is watching as well. So, watch your language. Okay. I'm telling you that. She's not saying that. I'm not. Uh, Rosemary's watching it from Irish Town. She loves your hair and the oh, hairband. Thanks, Amelia. The hairband, that's actually me, Patrick's Day hairband turned inside out. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's oh, right. Is. So, I don't want to mess it up, but on the inside, oh, it's the, the green, green, white, yeah. and orange. So they're kind of like reversible hair bands. So these are the hair bands that Nanny K knits. And I actually have a couple of them. So now you need to have long hair for these ones because these ones are actually quite chunky. They're a bit chunkier than one that I'm wearing. I don't know that little eight year old has she got long hair. Um, so anybody that would like a hair band, she has went, Nanny K has went for the pastel colors. So what you have to do is quote, what color would you like? And we're just gonna randomly pick one. So if anybody'd like a lemon one, anybody would like a blue one, anybody would like a pale pink one, or anybody would like, now this would be peach, this is not coral, okay? This would be kind of a peach one. And that eight year old, I'm gonna give her a first option, I don't know what her name is, can't remember what her mummy's name was. Has she, well, she wants one, it doesn't matter whether she has long hair or short hair, you yeah. know, that sort of way. So anybody else that like a hairband, just tell us what colour you would prefer and we'll randomly pick them. So quote lemon, pale blue, pink or peach in the comments below and we'll organise to send you out a hairband. Um, somebody, um, Alma is saying hi from Mary's Green and Colooney. Uh, many years ago, Mary's there was Green and Colooney, two six six eight Mary's Green. That's where my sister in law lives, Margaret Mitchell and little Dara and Paul Ashling. Do you know them? My niece and my nephew, my favorite niece and favorite nephew, down in Sligo. Uh, she says many years ago there was an Irish type of oasis, but it wasn't very good. No, it wasn't. I um, actually can't remember the brand, and you're dead right, it was crap. It was and um, didn't hold the water and it didn't hold the stems either. And what used to happen was when you soaked it, you could nearly see the water, you know, running down the block, you know, that way and literally oozing out of it and you ended up with a dry block. It had no absorbency in it at all. Now, again, with the agro wool, I can't comment yet because I haven't used it, but I'll have full feedback on that next week. Okay, Caroline Keegan on ins are on YouTube. I've just seen your comment. You were looking for a hairband for your... What colour does she want? I can't remember and I can't go back to the YouTube videos. Um, comment again, Caroline, um, and then send us an email. Info at flowerschoolireland.com with your address and we'll stick it in the post to you. But if you could comment there on the YouTube again, what colour you want so that we can put that one by for you. Yeah, um, let me see. Mary Hines is, she's... she's How's the arm, Mary? How's the arm? Mary, she's giving out to Emma Rose, telling her to go away that she wants the blue one. But you're not okay. getting the Mary Hines. <laughs> We, okay. we were looking for you this week in the module yeah, three. Yeah, we were. One of the girls had a tax question or a revenue question. And we said, geez, we could do it Mary Hines here now <laughs> on the side. Our own personal um, revenue advisor, tax advisor. So this morning what I'm going to make is a table arrangement, okay? And I have a mixture of material. I'm going to use greenery that we forage. Deirdre does say to me, I'm not to use the word robbed. I'm not to say that I robbed the foliage. So I'm not going to say I robbed the foliage. I foraged the foliage. So it's all foliage foraged from 
other people's garden. So what would you call it? Borrowed? Not Par bought. Borrowed. Anyway. Relocated. Relocated. So it's all foliage that I foraged from other people's gardens. I'll call it all out to you um, what I'm using. And we do actually have a fantastic blog wrote on foliage that you should use, should grow in your own garden for flower arranging. And what we'll do is we'll get Sinead, our virtual assistant, to post the link for the blog maybe in the comments below when you get a chance later on, Sinead. The foliage that they can grow for flower arranging. So that's, I'll go through all that in a minute. It. The base that I'm going to use is not eco-friendly. I'm going to use an Oasis base this morning. So this is a 12 inch um, floral ring or Oasis ring and you can buy these from your local flower shop. Now any flower shop that's watching, because I do know there are some flower shops and they decide that they don't want to sell these uh, rings to the public. That's absolutely fine. There's lots of flower shops out there and garden centres and they do sell them. So what we need now is any of our flower shops and garden centres that are watching and that do sell these spaces, will you please put it up in the comments below and then any of our viewers that are watching, they can contact you. Put your phone number or an email or a website address that they can contact you. I know for a fact Mylan's Garden Centre in Galway, she sells all these products and she sells all the foliage that I will be showing me forage it off her but she'll sell you the plant and she does ship them all around Ireland and Northern Ireland so you can get it from Catty McDaniel said it's borrowed indefinitely but, uh, absolutely yeah <laughs> what do they call it then um... Deirdre Jordan says she's going foraging at the weekend in her family's farm in Kerry um, now that she can get out and she's well you send the clippers at the it? ready isn't it brilliant at the 5k and also a huge thanks to what was that lady's name that got us the bags of moss oh mary hogan mary ha mary, mary hogan, hogan i think, it, I is think is. it is in manor hamilton and manor hamilton is in leitrim not in donegal and not in offaly so if you remember there two weeks ago we had a big discussion about moss and not being able to get it and fair play to her she organized and she dropped it down to manor hamilton mart to the vegetable fella and left it there then for my brother-in-law lee mitchell to collect and what do you think the fecker did he went and forgot he started to eat drove home and of course i had to ring him and i say liam did you pack did you collect the bags of moss i said the, the vegetable fella has them he says shit he says i'm just leaving the town and i'm sure he was really cursing me because he had a trailer with five cattle in the back of it so round about he went back anyway he took the bags of moss sligo at the moment so as soon as we're able to get to sligo and get our bags of moss back as far as I know, he's coming up the road to, to Mullingar. This moss will need a passport. <laughs> he's coming up to Mullingar on Saturday. Um, they're doing a little bit of farming there. And I think my husband's going down to do a bit of farming with him. So hopefully we'll have the moss for next week. Um, Emma McBee over on Instagram. She'd love a pink hairband for her soap. Pink hairband for her daughter. To you, Emma. Send us an email. Info at flexgirlireland.com and we stick that in the post here today. So what you need to do with these bases, they do come in twos, but your local florists will, uh, get me knife or scissors, your local florists will divide them up and will sell them to you in ones. And if anybody is having a problem purchasing these bases, we do have them on our website, flowerschoolireland.com under the floral sundries button and Sinead will put a link in the comments below and you can purchase them from us if you're stuck and we can post them out to you. But most flower shops and most garden centres do sell them. So what you're going to do is get the edge of your knife, just barely take the corners off, just like trim it as if you're peeling an apple or a potato, drop it down into a bucket of water. Um, now you will find with your bucket, it's a bit awkward to soak because you probably haven't got a bucket wide enough that you can drop it in that way. So just drop it in on its side and then just spin it, leave it a couple of minutes, spin it, leave it a couple of minutes, spin it, and it, it'll be a ton weight. It's hard for me to describe the weight here, but it's a ton weight when it's full of water. And the thing is, it does need to be kept watered all the time because the foliage I'm going to use is obviously going to suck the, the water out of the oasis base, so you do need to keep it watered again. So I start on some of the foliage that I'm using, and then Deirdre can give us a few more comments. So what I have this morning is some variegated uh, pittosporum. Now I absolutely love this and especially if it's for weddings, this is just a beautiful foliage. To be honest, not just for weddings, but just it's, you know what I mean, it is beautiful with um, the avalanche roses or white roses, white Naomi roses, it's beautiful. So variegated pittosporum, if you have space in your garden, definitely go and grow one of them. And I'm also going to be using some of the black pittosporum or the winey burgundy pittosporum. And again, this is so decorative in the garden if you have a little bit of space definitely grow a little bit of the black pittosporum we have a little bit of hebe am i mean right hebe? Yeah, yeah, a little so. bit of hebe yeah. um the cultures just like the dust 
by hebes because if you literally stick that in the ground it'll probably grow for you or is that the box is that the box of the hebe i'm not too well up on it somebody correct me we have a little bit of viburnum that has a flower on it and i actually used some of this last week i did in a flower arrangement and i was amazed at how long the flower actually holds up on it this one is only in bud here but um, the flower held up absolutely great in an oasis space i have a little bit of euonymus now this is fabulous for wedding work as well think of anonymous Euonymus, so Euonymus is the name of that. I have a little bit of Choicea. Now, Choicea, this is just coming into flower. Well, uh, this is our Deirdre's garden, so this is just coming into flower. The flower is fabulous on it. The only thing is the scent. The flower has a scent, but the foliage has a, a, what I call pretty shite scent. You know that way? It's not very nice. You know that way? But um, like again, it's gorgeous foliage. We have a little bit of our silver Sussex. We didn't do much robin on the silver Sussex. That's all I, I literally, because they're, they're last, do you remember, was it last year, the year before I planted those? Yeah. So I'm literally, they're doing, coming out the air. Yeah, just slowly. So Deirdre just brought some of this in, and we're going to use a lot of this next week, right? So when you're out for your 5K walks, everybody, look for the red robin. Everybody has in flower in the garden and it's all in color this is going to be absolutely beautiful and there's loads of things i can show you so what i want us to do now in the next few days is have a look out for any red robin and when you spot one take a photograph and post it on our page somebody's just like asking how to spell pittosporum if oh. you go to our website shanae's actually just posted the link on facebook uh, we have a blog of foliage to grow as a flower arranger in your garden so good foliages to grow and as you know sinead's a horticulturist so she's given the top tips and stuff like that is Sorry. there anywhere in swords that i could indefinitely borrow foliage <laughs> anybody know anywhere in swords where she can um indefinitely borrow some foliage or a little bit of relocating um just post it there swords car park or is there a shopping center swords yes yeah, the pavilions what's that, isn't the it pavilion out in swords what's the car park like out there um have they got nice foliage pittisporum p-i-t-t-i-s-p-o-r-u-m that's how i would spell it phonetically so what i have done is i've cut it down into pieces approximately that length i'm not going to say because what measurement because some of them are a little bit bigger some of them are a little bit shorter and we've lots of crooked and bent ones so when you're relocating it or borrowing it only just kind of cut them pieces there don't cut yourself big big branches and what i did was i just picked a section on the ring and i'm going to kind of keep this as the grouped method you know the way so i'm keeping basically all the same type of foliage kind of together in the one area and you can decide to make this group a little bit smaller or a little bit larger than i'm making like if you want to make it smaller and you could do two groups of it but for the moment i'm just going to keep to the one group and remember to look at the ring from the inside as well as from the outside now a turntable is handy because you can see the way I can just kind of spin it around, look at it from a different angle, you know that way, and I can see exactly what I'm doing. But I see some of you have little things for, I call them for icing cakes on or making cakes, you know the way, little spinny things, lazy Susans, lazy something else they're called. Um, so if anybody has a link for them, absolutely post them here in the comments. But we do have the turntables for sale here at the school if anybody wanted one. So that's what it looks like with just a group of the variegated pittus form. And I decided to make a fairly big group there. Sinead says don't forget to share. Oh yeah, absolutely. Don't forget to share. We haven't been on in ages, so our numbers are right down. Like Yes, yes, mom, it, really exactly. Needs. Because normally um, when we're on all the time, you know what I mean, and when I do the same to you about sharing, the idea is is for our Google Analytics, okay? And also for our analytics with Facebook. And it's mad like, you know, because last week, what happened last week that we didn't get on? There was a big SOS out for us. Yeah, what were we doing? Last? Oh we the delivery was coming last the week. Delivery came last week, that's right. And so what happened, you could see like our um, interaction and our analytics went way, way down. And the week before that, we weren't on because we were, after, we were on TV Easter. that week. Yeah, you know what our, I mean? It was yeah. Easter and so on. So I really need to catch up on two weeks of analytics. So listen, everybody that's watching there, do us a massive big favor. Just go and click share. Click it to your own page, share it to your own page, or share it to a group that you're in. Mary O'Hagan is on watching. So there's our moss lady, Mary O'Hagan. Hey, Mary, how are you? And dear the stuff. Did you stick it in the post? I did, did? yeah. So dear just stuck a little kit in the post to you there. For Hopefully you kept a bit of moss for yourself, you know the way. She and said ditches are full of it. I think. <laughs> and she, I was laughing when Liam ran Tom when he picked up the bags of moss. Sure, sure, he says, he says, this is the country accent in Sligo. Uh, he says, there's loads of that grown in Lizardell House down in Sligo, which there probably is. But I'd be shitting out to go in there robbing it, you know, that way. And Because um, they're solicitors, isn't it? 
isn't it that owns that house? Is it? There? Could you imagine them having you up in court if you were in there robbing their, um, robbing their green? Jackie Nealon, thanks so much. Jackie says, very sorry about your hens, Deirdre. Yeah, all of them. Oh, yeah. Did you see? I'm talking pens party. You're talking no. Yeah, poor Deirdre's hens. The fox got into the garden. Did he eat everyone? Um, we didn't even eat them. He just killed them. Just killed all the Little fuckers. Yeah. yeah, little peckers. So if anybody has any um, chickens looking to be rehomed, <laughs> <laughs> has an empty chicken house now again. Yeah, <laughs> completely empty. Although I was able to get into the choice because I couldn't get into the choice because of the hens. So I was able to get into that this morning. So what I've done there, as you can see, is I put in a group of the black pittosporum. You can see just beside the variegated pittosporum. So you can see how easy this is. And if anybody has like any kids in the house, they would enjoy making this sort of display. Because really, you're bringing them out into the garden. You're getting them to or someone else's garden. You're getting them to get a selection of foliage. And basically, I just see there's a bad I believe on this one here. This is just the ivy that would. I know my mom has this growing on a wall she has outside the garden, and I just kind of have it cut up and just make sure with the ring that you bring some to the inside of the ring and the outside of the ring so that you help to kind of camouflage the um you know the plastic ring base that holds the water in. So you could help to kind of camouflage that a little bit. So you can see here, I'm just sticking in a couple of like little stems of the ivy. I'll just hold it up just to kind of give you an idea. That's this gorgeous. is really. Do you know? I think the wonderful. more selection just just makes it. Oh, you, you just can't beat a selection. Yeah. You really can't. You know that. Way. Um, do you know who's on Jeanette? Etna Collins. We haven't. Oh, been, hey, do you Etna, remember Etna? Down in Mayo, I think. Am I right, Etna? Um, big big hello to you. I haven't seen her in ages, and Etna would be one of our oldie oldie students. Well, she's not, she's not old. That old she's not that old, <laughs> but you know what I mean. But then um, she was a student who was with us like a long, long, long time ago. She says she can't believe it, but I've all that foliage Jeanette mentions, um, bar one. Um, yeah. I don't Put your have a good pin up there, Etna. We go down to your house there. <laughs> Where's the girl in swords? Go down to Etna and get the Absolutely. foliage. Absolutely, and Etna's lovely. She'd look after you. There'd be no problem at all. She might even make an apple tart as well. She might. I, I don't know how Etna is on that. I wouldn't say she's an apple tart person. Would you not think so? No. Okay. The one she hasn't got from my garden is the choice here. The one that doesn't smell nice. She hasn't got that one. No. Yet. Um, it's a fabulous one to have in the garden. Do you know that way? The flare on it is beautiful. But just when you have it in the house, there's a bit of a, a little whiff ever so often. You know, kind of one of them. You're just, mm, I don't know whether I like that smell or I'm not mad about that smell. <laughs> Margaret Cavanagh says, oh no, dear, just sorry to hear about your hands. I love foxes, but I'll make an exception for your case. If you get a fox. Little the fox, you know that way. And I think there's a couple of them. Even though dear lives in the city, um, like Walkins Town, there's loads of foxes. Loads there. of them. And these and were rescue. Yeah, you know, these were rescue them. hens. So like we've had them about two and a half years ah, now. Thing, yeah, I've been taking out the orphanage and then for that to happen to them. This is it. But anyway. <laughs> okay, so what I've just done is I've just done a second group of the ivy to see over the opposite side. So you can see no structure. Do you know the way? Not trying to keep things kind of like really, really exact. I'm going to be continuing on. Now, in case you're kind of wondering, what are we going to be adding in? We're always getting asked about artificial flowers and silk flowers. And I just had a selection of kind of like bridal flowers brought in during the week. Not that I'm planning this to be kind of bridly, but probably will turn out a bit bridly. So these are Philanopsis orchids. They're artificial, they are. So I'm going to show you how I can use these. I also have uh, Lily of the Valley. So we're going to be coming into that sort of season. Now this is artificial, by the way, right? But this is artificial uh, lily the valley, but the fresh stuff will be in flower in your garden. Like May is the month, you know that way. So end of April, month of May. I tried growing her a few times. It's yeah. really difficult. But some Barely Orly, really I see she's on there at the moment. Barely Orly will have the lily of the valley grown. Yeah. There'll be no problem to Barely Orly. So again, we're going to use some of that. But also what I have is some jip. And jip is something, um, when you're trying to get artificial jip, it's hard to get kind of a good one and um, I actually thought this one wasn't bad you know that way hopefully you can see that yeah. on the camera that's just one stem and that's how you can kind of like that's all the little sprigs one two three five little sprigs of the little gypsophila maybe more than five there and um, so I actually thought that was really really good value and I will be using this with my bridal students showing them how to make artificial arrangements but for the moment I'm going to keep it kind of like to fresh stuff as, um, for today Frances says she lives in the real country and she's never saw a fox till she moved to the town. Isn't that mad? Isn't that? That is just gas. She's probably hide. See, there's nowhere to hide. Louise just wants to know, when is our next Module 1 starting? Next Module 1 is starting the 2nd of June. There is still places available on it, but there's also still funded places available, which is probably great. And what they're reckoning is this may be one of the last, it's our last funded course anyway that we would have. Now, when I say funded, is that you get 25% discount or grant, whatever way you want to describe it. It's basically like a discount 
from a group called Skillnets. It's actually based down in Kerry, but we'll have all the information on it. Just drop us an email, info at flareschoolireland.com, and I'll forward all the information on to you. And the thing is for that course is all your materials are provided. Like you're probably getting nearly 400 euros worth of materials between flowers, foliage and all the sundries and the stock that you need. Now just hold that up there just so you can see with the choice you added into it. You see yeah. how easy these are. So I'm working my way around now and did we find out was this box or was it um Hebe? I actually have a feeling I think it's Eileen Pollard box. says she feeds the foxes every night at around eleven o'clock. Well dear just well, been feeding them as well. Yeah, they? they've been well fed in my house I can tell you. <laughs> Not anymore. My husband's getting the pellet gun. <laughs> saying that online somebody will report us <laughs> um top module three was the second of june it is module three is the second of june no module one is the second of june module, module three, three is, the is the ninth, ninth of june. june ninth of june is module three yeah so i'm going now on and just to, um again well, i know you were talking about the funding but for anyone that's unemployed they get 100 percent funding that's right i forgot to mention that so if you're unemployed and you're claiming job seekers allowance you will be entitled to a thousand euros worth of funding. Most people don't realize that. So again, drop us an email and we can send you on all the information. But there actually is a link on our website with a lot of information about the funding. So info, no, sorry, the email is info at flareschoolireland.com or the website address is flareschoolireland.com. Now again, just to show you how this is all That's coming gorgeous. together, you know that way. And it's actually, really do you know what? The choice nice you even with the flare not open on it is it actually, actually looks nice. It does. Look Hopefully nice. it will open. Now I'm on to our miserable bit of silver Sussex. You know that way? So we really have to mind this silver Sussex. And you can see I'm automatically cleaning off the end of the stem before I stick it into the base. You know that way? And that just gives it a little bit of extra security and it'll stop falling out. And you can see here, like I'm lifting it up and down. So it is quite secure. But it is the wrong thing to do. When you're working with Oasis, you should always let the foam settle. It's a bit like when you take meat out of the oven. And I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it for but you know the way they say let it settle like don't start cutting the meat straight away well with floral foam it's not the same but think of the same kind of idea is that when you work with it the worst thing you can do is what I keep doing is holding it up like that so you can see and putting it back down again but you have no choice I have to let you see what's happening but every time you do that the material is moving now I'm talking minuscule okay but the material is moving a little bit so the hole actually gets a little bit bigger well if you think about it you have your floral foam and it's full of water you're sticking the material in okay so you're sticking your greenery or your flowers in they're then in turn sucking the water out of the floral foam and if you can imagine they're shrinking the floral foam tight around the stem and that's what prevents it falling out. But if you're doing what I'm doing and you keep lifting it up and putting it back down again, they're moving now, I'm talking minuscule, you know the way, they're moving slightly. So what's happening is they're not getting a chance for the floral foam to tighten around the foam and there's more chance of the stuff falling out. So people decided that they wanted to use this as a, a door wreath, which this would be fabulous as a door wreath, by the way. And um, the thing is, the stuff would more likely fall out of it. You know what I mean? Now, I haven't been shaking it around too much, but just in case any of you used to. So again, I'm holding it back up again, just so that you can see the effect. And of course, the water is going to drip out of it. You know that way? Because obviously, as I push the material in, it's going to push the moisture out of the base. But after a while, that normally stops. And you should give the item about um, an hour, hour and a half before you hang it to allow, again, the water to, to soak up. Terry said it's so pretty and it's lovely just the foliage like. It is, it's going to be gorgeous with just the foliage and even just to use as a table arrangement. And this time of the year there's loads of foliage growing in the garden. So I'm now on the Euonymus, excuse me, I'm a tilly in my throat. <coughs> That's the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of this arrangement is that it's a little bit of a talking piece that when it's on a table that everybody is seeing something different you know that way but even if you decided to use it as a door wreath I'm, on, I'm using up the last of the euonymus here if you decide to use it up as a door wreath it's still again it would be beautiful if you had a green colored door wouldn't this be gorgeous yeah, be fabulous yeah them, dark grey doors or the lighter grey door and um, so, maureen just says what about the pensioners i presume she means about the funding and um, the, the funding is a government funding so i'd say get onto your local office your leo office your local employment office yeah um or your department of social welfare or any of those places and look yeah. at you've no harm ask them 
Ask I'm just them. going around the bottom now and I'm just sticking an odd little bit of green me in kind of down low. And this is just for anybody eating their dinner. If this was a table arrangement, what I don't want them seeing is the plastic tray at the bottom. So I'm just going along now. They mightn't be the right foliages. I'm just literally sticking in bits of foliage kind of down low that when they're eating their dinner, they won't be saying, ah, look at the plastic tray. Because it is a horrible, cheap plastic tray and I really don't want people to see it. So I think I covered it fairly well there. Just right? hold it up there, yeah. So there we have our ring and that's it then covered in completely with foliage there's not much of a hole in the center you know that way but um they're they're teetotalers at this dinner party so there's going to be no bottle of wine standing in the center with the water not dribble well do you remember i said leave it for an hour you know that way so if you leave it for an hour because what i'm doing there as i'm pushing in the items my hands are soaking wet so i'm going to dry them on my pleather jeans which is not a great idea because there's no soakage in them but i don't want to do it to my t-shirt and um, as you push the material in, you're pushing the water out, you know what I mean? So the surplus water here all on the table. And obviously when I hold it up, that's naturally what happens. It's the surplus water. But if you leave it for about an hour or even a little bit longer before you hang it on your door, it'll be absolutely fine. Because at that stage then, like if you've been listening to me before about treating the flowers, when you put something, it sucks for an hour without stopping. So every item that I have just put into that flower foam, imagine it like the aliens. They're all sucking, 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 sucking mad out of that out of that flower foam. And they'll suck up all the surplus water. The oasis will tighten around the stems and be ready then to hang on the door. Where I'm just holding it up so you can see what's happening here. Now, I actually went and I got myself a couple of candles. We got ourselves a nice big box of candles. Oh, are these brilliant? So big, big box of candles, okay? Because again, people are always asking us about inserting candles into arrangements. So these are really nice ones, aren't they? Good quality They are ones. actually lovely, yeah. So these are called candle holders, and you can buy these in your local flower shop. I'm sure we probably have them in the sundry shop on the website if anybody needs them, okay? So what happens is the candle just wedges tight into the candle holder and you do it in your hand because the mistake people make is they go and stick these into the floral foam first and then you try to push the candle in and you'll wreck the floral foam. So the trick is, because the candle is, it's a tight fit, okay? It's like trying to get into your jeans after the pandemic. <laughs> it's a beckon tight fit, right? So what you're doing is I'm really wedging the candle into the candle holder. And it's up to you, you can decide to use as many candles as you want. Now this probably will have a little bit of a wet me touch. As I said at the beginning, I wasn't planning it, I suppose when I brought out the Lily the Valley and the Jip, you know that way, I said, have we got another candle holder there, Deirdre? Oh, there's one there. Um, I said, sure, listen, I'll bang in a few candles as well. Feeling a bit romantic this year, Deirdre, this weekend, Deirdre. <laughs> see, we're not doing anything. No, What's see, we're not plan? doing anything. I will be in two weeks' time. Oh, I'd say a bitch. <laughs> did, that, did the doctor ring me? Uh, Deirdre said that when she was up with the doctor this morning, they have three vaccines left, you know that way, and they're waiting on three L ones to come in, and I'm hoping to God that them three L ones cancel well, I'm one of them anyway, because I'm on the list. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably people more vulnerable ahead of me. Maureen McGurkin wants to know, could you, sh could you show the pittosporum up close? I think it's growing in my garden. Yeah, absolutely. So, how are we going? Yeah, then? that's it. Just show it over to this one here, there and then over to this one. This one there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Hopefully you've seen that, Maureen. But you know what? If Sinead posts up the blog for you... You'll see it, you'll yeah. You'll see it up close, you will, and she'll give you all the information. And you'll see it actually as a tree kind of growing in your garden. So, can you see what I'm doing there? Is I'm just spacing out the candles, so I'm just kind of like rooting here, trying to find a little hole, you know that way? Trying a little hole there and space these out. Totally, I brought, I went for five, maybe I could do it six. I'm just thinking, will we work for five and see how we go? Because I've only got five candle holders. Maybe I can move one a little bit. So there's four in there, five is there. Again, don't be talking when you're doing this. No, it'll work out, dear. I'm just going to shift right. this one over. Shift this one over here a little bit. You're never oh, supposed yeah. to shift them over, by the way. There we go. You shift over in the bed another little bit there. They look fairly well spaced out, don't they? And there we have our five candles. Now, you don't have to put candles in. It looked grand without the candles. But as I said, just to show you something a little bit different. There's more space between these candles than the one over here. But you listen, we're not going to be fussy. I was talking while I was doing it and I wasn't concentrating. So now we want to move on to our flowers. And this is where I need to show you a couple of tricks. So moving all that out of the way. So what you need is some 20 gauge wires, okay? And also what you need is a roll of gutter tape. And again, you can buy all these, I'm drowned it here, you'll buy all these in your local flower shop, you will, 
or again you can get them online here off ourselves on the floral sundry site it just means we have to post it out to you It'd be handier if you could go to your local flower shop beside you and there's loads of flower shops like i know heather betsy floral pop up in kilmainham she sells all the materials in, in chicor sorry kilmainham sounds posher <laughs> Kamina Minjikor, and um, she sells all the products she does, you know that way, and I know Mylan's Garden Centre, she sells all the products, Bala Flowers in Mayo, she sells all the products, there's lots of flowers around the country will sell you all these materials, especially if you know what you're looking for. Now when you're buying the Gosha Tape, it comes in two colours, hopefully you can see that, yeah. a light green and a dark green, they're both exactly the same, it's personal choice, and personal choice for me, I prefer the dark green, and if it was Deirdre, she prefers the the light green and it's the same with the students it's gas some of the students prefer the darker one and some prefer the lighter one now i do have a video in our blog button and also on youtube how to do this because again i'm going to be doing it pretty fast here today so maybe she will find the link and she'll post it maybe in the comments if anybody wants to go and watch it on youtube later on sinead is probably saying you never warned me that we're going to be looking <laughs> for this because i'm just thinking of this as i'm going along sinead sorry now Sinead is our virtual assistant as you know over in Scotland she's also our sister she is but she's involved in a group over in Scotland called the Inverness Outlanders okay and what they're doing tonight um, I wouldn't be too well up on Scottish history but I know we have a lot of UK people following us here and a lot of Scottish people so today or this week or maybe it's this year is the 275th anniversary of the Battle of Culloden and this was the one that Jamie obviously he's a fictional person right but the fictional person person in Outlanders the book and the movie which are absolutely brilliant I've read the book and I've watched the movie I think it's brilliant um, but it's kind of based around the Battle of Culloden and the author of the book Diana Gobaldon I don't know how you pronounce her surname she's American she is but tonight they're having a live there and I presume the actors and I know the author they're all involved and I think it would be very interesting to join in I'm going to join in anyway so if you're interested in Scottish history or you do or you have read the books Outlanders or you're going to watch the movie Sinead will put the link in the comments and just that she's involved in it she runs a great Twitter page um, Je I don't know how you Je say souple. that I don't, I don't know how you pronounce it whether it's French or Latin anyway girl it's... that's from France you know <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it means we are prepared, or I am prepared, obviously, to go to battle. I am ready. Is, I am ready, is it? Well, that's kind of the same. Is it? Prepared and ready. Yeah. <laughs> a ready, prepared dinner. Kind of the same. Jason, <laughs> put in the right way there. <laughs> anyway, back to the go to table. Sinead will put the link for the Outlanders in Vanessa tonight. We can all meet at that at 7 o'clock tonight. And sure, I'm sure you can have a little drink. Deborah Breslin says Jamie is enough Scottish history. Oh, for her. I tell you, Deborah, you need nothing else. Jesus, him and his kilt, so you need nothing else. And if anybody is into a little bit of sex when they're watching movies or reading books, oh my God, you'll get it all in these books. They're absolutely brilliant. And it's a little bit of history, so you can kind of say like you're you're kind of learning. <laughs> you will be learning. <laughs> right, back to the go to table. Jesus, we'll have to put this on after seven o'clock. I wish that little eight year old child, we put the hairband over our ears, yeah. she won't hear anything. So when you're starting to do this, it's easier if you get two 20 gauge wires and put them side by side, okay? You get your gutter tape, it's not, there's no right and wrong side and you can use whatever hand is comfortable. I always use my left hand. So get the gutter tape and kind of tuck it around the top of the wire to start off with. And the heat of your hand is what makes it sticky. So it doesn't feel sticky. But when your fingers get warm, and then what happens is you stretch it. So you stretch it like elastic and you roll. Stretch it. Don't stretch it too hard like I just did there. And roll. Stretch. <laughs> oh, God, I'm stretching it too hard. Go on. Uh, Trisha says you're dirty, Mary. <laughs> Jacinta says more dirt in the book. <laughs> there is. The book is filthy. Yeah, the movie uh, is filthy. Ethna Connell listen? says, did a trip to Scotland years ago and visit the area where the battle took place. It's, it's very interesting. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, we went up as well. And um, when we were over there, Actually, the, February it's the last before airplane the, we were before on. Before the lockdown, yeah, we went over and Sinead organised a little minibus and she brought us on the full tour. And uh, she brought us to places that maybe you're not even supposed to go to because she had the keys. So listen, if any of you ever do go to Inverness in Scotland, Sinead's going to hang me here, uh, <laughs> contact Sinead because I tell you, she'll bring you on the tour and it is just amazing. Like she's brilliant, you know that way. 
I she, actually must. I have to watch this pro. I read this book. Did you Deborah, have, do you never read? No, I've never read it. Deborah the says first, it makes Fifty Shades of Grey fall into significance. Yes. Do you know it's actually better because it's, it's you know your man Fifty Shades of Grey like that's not real like you know like seriously but because there's a bit of history. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> I haven't met Mister Grey myself yet. But because Outlanders has a little bit of history in it, you're kind of forgetting because it's fantasy and history at the same time. And I would normally not be into that sort of a book, but I just thought it was amazing. And the first two or three books are the best. You know, it's probably going to disagree with me here. But I thought then it kind of got a bit too much. There was less sex and more history. <laughs> <laughs> and she went into book four or book five and poor diana now is getting on in the year so i hope now she's lots more sex to add because she's writing a new book that's oh, what, she, that's oh what right There's right a new book there is so back to our go to tape and took it around the top stretch and roll stretch and roll stretch and roll and you see the way my fingers keep moving down the wire when some people do it they keep one hand up the top and one hand down the bottom and they try to do it and what happens is your wire bends so the trick is move down, roll, move down, roll, move down, roll. And when you get to the end, you break it off. You don't actually cut it with your fingers. I'll just do one more. So two wires together, get the tape, tuck it around, pull on an angle, and it's pull and roll, pull and roll. And the more of an angle, can you see how much I pull that tape on an angle? The more of an angle that you pull it, okay, the less going around and around and around. Where some of you hold it out this way and you're going around and around and around and around and around and you're getting nowhere because you're around, it's like kind of you're paddling in the same spot all the time. So the trick is pull it on an angle and then roll. And when you get to the end, break off your tape and you kind of find it's nearly sticky and you're ready to start the next one. Okay, somebody on YouTube, Joanne, I think it was, says that Outlander is on Prime. So if anybody wants to watch well, it. up the link there. And Hester first. says, go tell the bees is the new book. Oh, right. I didn't know that. Fair yeah. play to you. That's brilliant. That's excellent. She's going to be delighted. She's loads of Outlander fans because she's obsessed with it. She is. She's obsessed with it. So what you can do then, you can see with the stems of Philanopsis, is you can cut off the individual heads. And then the wires that you already have taped, okay, what you do is you just rest them against the plastic stem. You get your gut tape back up again and you're basically taping the Philanopsis orchid onto a wired stem. Now these wires are going to be too long for what I'm going to be using them for today. So I'm just going to cut it in half and then I'm going to take up the next flower because Philanopsis, you can see, even in real life, by the way, they have these short little stems. But in artificial, this is obviously not going to be drinking water because it's artificial. So all I'm doing is I'm making a false stem, to see, onto the Philanopsis flower. Emma Rose wants to know, did we give away the blue hairband? We I'm, I'm in no. and out of the pound shop looking for pots. Um, do you, Emma Rose, blue, do you know what? You, you can have it. So you can have it. The blue one is gone. The blue one is gone. So and I think the yellow one, I'm not sure. We'll just have did to wait and see. Did the girl on YouTube come back? Did she? I'm about to miss the comment okay. again. Um, Jacinta, very informative this morning and not just about flare age. Absolutely. Do you know what? Like, you know what I mean? Um, we've talked about the vaccine. We've talked about the side effects of the vaccine. <laughs> what? A new boob? <laughs> we'll let you know about the new boob next week. Did it grow back? At the moment, as I said, she just has three horns hanging over her head. <laughs> An arm and a half a leg falling off. But other than that, she's absolutely perfect. She can read the comments. Yeah. Nothing wrong with her right sight. And she, that's all we're looking for today, isn't it? So can you see how I can make a couple of individual flowers okay. out of my orchids rather than using them on the stem? Okay, Lolly on YouTube. She's looking for the peach one. Lolly, send me right. an peach email. Info at Flower School Ireland. So what, we're look, what we have now is the lemon one. But we're also going to have another giveaway. Mary Hines is having a heart attack now because Emma Rose is have to get the hairband. <laughs> Got bounce, poor Mary Hines, and you're not giving her the hair bounce. <laughs> Don't get any gay internet with another one. We will. We'll have Gertrude in a hand thing for her. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what, Mary? Um, when I broke my arm, do you remember on module four, you were probably looking at the tutorial when I done the moon gate. Did you recognise I had a broken arm? But you'll see that every day I had like a cover on it. So when I had the broken arm, my nanny Kay, my mum, she got in and she crocheted covers and I had one to match every outfit, you know what I mean? And she used to crochet them in pink and blue and so on and she embroidered or crocheted all flares on them. Send us a photograph of your bandage, Mary. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll to your cover, we will. <laughs> I say that arm must be nearly finished. It has to be. I think she's only acting at this stage, acting. yeah. 
what should we call it, Norse Nightingale there. So you can see the way, again, I'm just cutting up the couple of orchids. And when I got to the top of it, I just left them a couple of heads to see together the little bud. Now, I'll, I'll probably do up a few more, but I'll just show you what I'm doing so far. So just randomly saying, God, I think I'll stick that one in there. And then I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter. And you will find when you've used the um, gutter tape, it grips the oasis like so, so much easier. So again, I can put in two or three and I'm kind of bending the wire to make it sit the way I want it to go. And I'm going to put a third one in underneath here. So there's like just a little group to see of the three Philanopsis orchids together there. And you can put in as much or as little as you want. If you want to just put them in in singles, you see like what I've done there. Or if you want to put them in in twos, so say maybe one there and one a little bit lower. So you can see by cutting the wires, because this one is smaller, I'm going to put it on top. I always feel put the smaller one on top and the bigger one underneath. A bit like your body, small head, big boobs and big fat arse. You get bigger as you go down. So that's just showing you there, out of that one stem of orchids, the value that I was able to get out of it, okay? So if you went into, I'm going to say the range, if you went into a shop um, like the range or home store and more or any of these places, they sell like the stems of the flowers, but again, flower shops sell them. And you might be looking at the one stem and saying, oh God, that's expensive. But if you can do what I have just done to the stem, you can see it's absolutely, it works out great value. So that's just the one stem of orchids. And I can put more into it if I want to. I have another stem of them there. But I also want to use a couple of our lily of the valley, right? Now, these are already on stem, so they're absolutely fine. I don't need to break these up. I'm just going to loosen up the little flower a little bit. Now, if I was doing bridal with my students, I'd probably individually break up them six little bits of lily the valley. And again, I'd attach them onto a single wire and I'd get much, much better value out of them. But because of what we're doing today, I'm just going to cut the stem and then just kind of place them into it. That was a bit too close to our orchid there, wasn't thinking about it. And again, just move around somewhere else. I'm going to put another little stem of them kind of in there. And I'm going to put another little stem, maybe kind of standing up between the candles. I'm not following any particular pattern. Do you know that way? That was actually a jib I put in that time. Not a, it was obviously mixed in with our Lily the Valley. Another little Lily the Valley over there. And another one over here. So literally, no pattern, no system. Do you know that sort of way? Just kind of add a few little bits going in and out. And then I have our little bits of artificial jib. I showed you up this close at the beginning. Now again, anybody watching me, just click and share. Go and click share for us. Remember we, we were begging there at the beginning. We were saying our analytics are gone down. So we need to kind of get them back up again. So we really depend on you to click share for us. And that will help to kind of pop them all back up again for us. So when we share them to your own page, tag somebody in it, maybe a friend or something that you know that's interested in flowers. Or if you're already involved in a group, maybe an art and craft group, a knitting or a crochet group, a floristry group, you know that way, I'd really appreciate if you clicked share and shared our demonstration. Now, I think we need to have another giveaway, Deirdre. What about the hand-tied course? Do you remember we were talking about yeah, that? Yeah, I just want, I was thinking about that and saying, how are we going to do it? Um, I haven't got that set up for to do it because I was busy. Okay. Um, do you know what we do? Because we've flared well, delivery. What vaccine did you get today? We oh. have the controversial one. Okay. And we have the one that they're only giving out. At the moment, I think this will be the easiest way. It's only on Facebook, this competition but we won't announce the winner to later to make it fair yeah, yeah. so the youtubers and the instagram can come to our facebook page and they can um obviously um enter the competition this, enter yeah the competition great well. idea so what vaccine did you get was it the one that there's no controversy about or was it the one that there's a little bit of controversy about and it doesn't matter as i said three horns one leg hanging off waiting on the boob to grow back but other than that she's absolutely no side effects what are we going to give away i'm not finished this yet we're going to give away one of our most popular courses which is the hand tight bouquet course now if you know anybody who is interested in flowers this course is no good to anybody unless they're interested in flowers okay and i need somebody in ireland or the uk because i'm going to post out the kit and it's a bit awkward to post it to anywhere outside, you know what I mean, England or Ireland. So included in the kit, well, first of all, it'll be a step-by-step -step downloadable um, tutorial that you will have three months access to, and it'll show you and explain to you every tip and trick. I 100% guarantee you will know how to make hand-tied bouquets after watching it. 
But when you're watching it, it is handy if you have the materials. So things like maybe like your porto boxes, which come flat packed and you assemble them up yourself. It's all going to be shown. Your hand tied string for obviously tying up your bouquets. And we use a special technique for tying them up. So again, that's going to be included. Your ribbon for making your bows, just 100 yards on the roll of ribbon. And that's included as well for making loads of bows. But I always like with... Um, our hand tied bouquets to use like organzas or you know something a little bit different so we're going to include all them as well and the demonstration how to make them bows are included in the tutorial and then when you're wrapping them up you have your brown paper you have your tissue paper it's all included here in the kit your plastic bag for um, lining the inside of your box and also your brown paper for wrapping up your bouquets or your craft paper but also the cellophane for making the aqua pack at the bottom do you know what i mean the porto as we call it or the aqua box or the bubble of water so it's all included in the kit so we're going to post the kit out to whoever the winner is and to enter the competition as i said we've just taught it up randomly there today and it doesn't matter if you can't spell the word because it doesn't begin with f <laughs> okay so that's giving you a hint so it doesn't matter if you can't spell the word properly because we probably can't spell it either just while you're talking away there i'm just going to add in a couple more Wait, steps talking these away? what you're talking i'm, I'm not talking, talking. so you start talking there for a second there. okay well there's lots and lots of um of right answers coming in lots of right answers coming right. in um, and, and we are just going to randomly pick and I'm going to put it up later make sure on. you're Ireland or um, England and even if you don't want to win it yourself you can always tag somebody in it that you feel because as I said unless you're interested in flowers this probably this course wouldn't interest you. The, um, there's a couple of questions Jenna asking about where could they buy the artificial flowers particularly the lily of the valley. Um, okay, I bought that in from a wholesaler, but I'm sure a lot of our flower shops here who are watching probably have it kind of in stock. Um, so again, if you are in the trade, just we're not supposed to give wholesaler details out live here. If you are in the trade, just drop us an email and we'll drop you, send you on the information. Because the wholesaler that I buy them from is you do have to be trade and there's minimum amounts and minimum quantities that you have to buy. So they aren't open to the public. Um, there is silk wholesalers that are open to the public, but I didn't buy that one from them. Do you know that way? But sometimes Jones and, and the range and stuff like the that often have. Yeah. The range is absolutely brilliant. As I said, when I seen it, just because we were coming into that time of the year, the Lily of the Valley, and it, or Lily of the Valley in May, you'd often find like brides would ask you about it. And um, it's, it's just so hard to get and it's so expensive as well. And I often say, what about suggesting to your bride about mixing artificial Lily of the Valley into their fresh flowers? And it does look quite well. Great news, Dolores Collins, only one leg fell off when she got the first vaccine, so we're sorted. Uh, you're grand. you can still sit on the toilet and that's the most <laughs> important. Imagine not being able to sit on the toilet. Um, <laughs> Ellen says she's really hoping to get to do module one first. Yeah, always a good idea to do module one first before you go on to any of the other modules. And it is a very enjoyable um, course, and I'm not just saying that. And if you listen to the testimonials from our students who have already attended it, so on our website, uh, flowerschoolireland.com, we actually have a testimonial button. And you can have, I'm just going to bend up the end of this, just it's sticking in. Um, if you listen to the testimonials from some of our past students, Give them that twirl around here, right? One more flare. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Where will I go? Do, 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 do. I'm going to go here where this ivy is. It just seems to be talking. Um, does it need that now, Stair, dear? Just your further away. I don't think so, actually. Again, I'm not trying to go for it. Yeah. Really even. Maybe something there. So I'm just going to pick up another little bit of that chip. And again, that chip could easily be broken up into six little pieces with you Sharon Boylan room. says module one is brilliant and uh, these flowers are classified as non-essentials in the range at the moment yeah another week or two hopefully <laughs> please god all going well she'll be uh, Elaine is saying she'll be doing module one in June and uh, Sabrina says module one was a laze amazing I'm just gonna get some silver wire Can I do you know I actually it? thought that myself yeah. some um, aluminium wire is that yeah, what you're thinking yeah. yeah um you can buy them in the range in Carlo Tina is saying you can buy the um faux flowers in the range in Carlo Francis, Francis, she got her second vaccine on Tuesday. Well done, Francis. Oh, do you know what? There's such a buzz up in the GPs this morning. It was, uh, it was actually, it was a really, really emotional. It was brilliant. So this is aluminium wire. We use it in bridal work. Wasn't planning on using it, and you can wrap it around things. But like, it's just really easy to cut, and you basically 
just stick it into the floral foam anywhere, stick it into the floral foam somewhere else, you know the way, and then just give it a little bit of a bend or a maneuver to see over the flowers. And you see the way it just kind of gives just a little bit of a different touch. It comes in different colours as well. So at Christmas, like we often use this kind of in gold. So you can see the way I'm just randomly sticking it into the floral foam, if I can poke away there, and then just give it a little bit of a twist or a curve, and just adding a bit to it. Um, I don't suppose there's a floral tube handy just to show how I can wrap. Actually, do you know I wrap it around the handle? Mm -hmm. A pen. A pen's probably a bit too skinny for me. I'm looking for something a little bit thicker. Huh? Um, yeah, um, yeah, maybe give us that one there. Okay, so just kind of added a little bit there. So, um, not that we're into gin, you know, that way, like, why would we have something like this in the school? In the so, press. In the press. <laughs> where the tea bags are so you can just get it and you see the way you can wrap it around a can this could be a can of diet coke as well by the way <laughs> so you just wrap it around can you see that yeah yeah just move yeah. over to the, that yeah there, there you go now so just yeah. wrap it around as many times as you wish keep it as you know smooth as you can you know the way cigarette just kind of wrapped onto it there as i said you can make this as long or as short as you want Okay, then you can cut it and you just slide it off the end of a can, you know, that way. And you see when you open it out, you see the sort of shape that you get. And again, it just gives you another kind of a texture. I'm just going to bring it in here to where the candles are. Bring it through the middle, I think. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Through this way. Yeah. There we go. So you can see, you make it up as you go along. <laughs> and then the last bit then, just stick that back down into the floral foam. Little bit of jiggity, 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 do, jiggity, do, jiggity, do. There you go. And there's just a little bit of silver going through. Just do another bit of silver just here. So we have the last bit left. When we wrap it around the can again. Nice so well. around the can we go. Just for anybody there that was drinking the gin and tonic instead of watching how I did this. Doesn't have to be a can of gin and tonic. We are not promoting alcohol at Case Flair School. So around the gold, this can be a can of Diet Coke. Could be a can of water. Monster. Wrap it around. There you go. Open it out. Do you see the effects that you get? Basically, straighten the two ends that are going to go down into the fa into the fabric, into the floral foam. Plunk it down. Do whatever you want. Round the candle, underneath the candle, anyway at all. Stick it back in again. Don't think about it. The idea is to be a little bit uneven. I think that looks grand, doesn't it? Yeah. That candle's a bit crooked there. But like for artificial flowers. Just move flares, it over that way. There we go. Yeah. For artificial flowers, you want to drink tea? <laughs> <laughs> Um, artificial flowers with fresh foliage, you know the way. It does look wet me looking. That wasn't our plan, but it is wet me looking now. I think definitely what I Sheila's saying, great silver. idea for a Christmas arrangement, yeah. Absolutely, it could be all year round. That candle is fucking crooked. But um, christening, a christening would also do for, uh, again, just change the colours, you know the you way. Know, and you would keep the the faux flowers, keep the artificial flowers. Oh yeah, flowers. and you can, if the wires are too short, you can just add more wires onto them to make them longer again, or undo them from the top and then add them onto fresh wires. Or again, you could pull out all them little bits of jip or lily of the valley, and you could do what I just mentioned there about dividing them up, making five or six little sprigs out of them, and again, we'll use them a bridal. I know we have a bridal course going at the moment, I imagine three students, and they're saying, what does she mean? I will show you that over in the bloom room, because I have lots more extra of that material. So, um, how's everybody going? Are yeah, you clicking share? Yeah, lots of shares. So we got rid of all the hair bands, did we? I think we did. We'll check and see. And if not, I think we probably will be on live maybe Monday or Tuesday because we have all them flares. We yeah, love so we have a big flare delivery coming um, tomorrow evening, Saturday evening. Yeah, that's tomorrow. So tomorrow evening we have a big delivery coming. And then, as I said, next week we're going to be working on the agro wool. Do you know that way? So showing you how that can be used. Uh, we will come on and we'll do it as a demonstration, but we're also doing some online tutorials. And um, again, where you have a lot of flares coming in that would be in season at the moment. So maybe stuff that you haven't kind of like seen so far. So showing you how to make up little bunches or little bouquets of flares. We've loads planned for next week, haven't we? Yeah. Absolutely loads. Loads. Busy so week ahead. remember to click share, okay? Anybody that has won one of the hair bands, email us info at flareschoolireland.com. Anybody that's interested in winning the hand type bouquet course. And remember, I'm going to be posting the kit out to you. What was the name of the vaccine that Deirdre got this morning? And um, anybody can enter. You can tag someone else. When will we announce that one? Maybe on Monday? Uh, which one? The hand tied one? The hand tied one. Yeah, I think we'll announce give it on the, Monday. Yeah. The days, because we have to allow the YouTubers and the Instagrammers. Louise to Meredith over. says, Hi, lovely lady. She's just coming over from Danielle's course. So she's going to have to watch this on the replay. No, I've been watching Danielle's on the replay Danielle's at night time. Um, Danielle is Danielle Serpico. She does. 
I don't know how you describe it, whether you would call it mind reading, mind boggling, or mind over matter. She is just brilliant. And she's done a lot of, like, say, free sessions with our students, like, here in their bloom rooms for like getting them all prepared for setting up their businesses and how to reword things and oh she's just amazing she is and then she's offered a free course to all our students that were in the balloon room in case there's anybody watching saying I wasn't the particular balloon room that was going on at that time maybe Sinead might post a link to Danielle Serpico's page the Black Belt, and the, Mastermind, the Black Belt Mastermind. Mastermind and she'll pop over Tell her you're one of Case Blair schools and she'll never know she could offer you one of her free courses as well yeah. she's amazing she is and um, anybody that's interested in maybe purchasing, we better try and sell something here. Purchasing yeah. the hand type book, yeah. of course. Sinead might post the link um, and you can go on and you can sign up and watch a free preview before you buy it. And, and you know what, because I know um, somebody was on there, was, oh it was Mary Hines was saying that our mother is amazing and making the things and whatever. If they use the, the code MOTHER, they get 50% off the hand tied course. 50%? No, 50 euros. Sorry, Jesus, 50 euros. I was thinking, Jesus, dear, 50 euros. Fucking Maxine gone to your head all together. <laughs> 50 euros. 50 euros. So it is a 350 euro course. So anybody will give me a use the discount mother and you'll get 50 euros off it. And that includes sending out the kit to you. You know the way we will post Patricia wants to know will we go to Canada for to do her wedding. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We provide the flights. And also the I'm, people, I'm vaccinated, I can go. Vaccinated. I'll have to get the PCR test before I go and maybe two weeks two weeks quarantine in a pub when I arrive. <laughs> Listen, we'll be on next week. Huge thanks for everybody joining in. Don't forget the Outlanders Inverness uh, live tonight at 7 o'clock. You will be kept busy. There's that many posts here on the page. Don't forget about entering for the hand tied bouquet course. You can enter as many times as you wish. If you want to purchase the course, use the code MOTHER and you'll get a 50 euros discount off it. We'll have our moss next week because we'll be after arriving from... Leitrim, Sligo, Dun Mullingar. So we'll have the moss back up in Dublin next week and we'll be using that. We'll be using our agri wool just for anybody that's late. I did talk about this earlier on. So we're going to be using that next week, the agri wool, for eco-friendly arrangements. I'll give you all the details, where you can buy it, how I find it, whether it's good, it's bad, it's indifferent. I'll give you all the information on that next week. So we better go. Are you dying for a cup of tea? I'm dude? dying for a cup of tea. Week, no. eh? Not feeling weak yet. <laughs> Not just. Okay. Listen, huge thanks for all the support that you gave us today and all the good wishes for, for Deirdre. I never got the call. So it looks like I'll have to wait another few weeks until I get my vaccine. But well, they're doing the over 60s next week, Janet. You should oh, be off. No, no. 60, yeah, nearly there, but not there yet. Listen, thanks for meeting everybody. Talk to you all next week. Goodbye, good luck, have a fabulous weekend. Bye bye, see you all.